In this week's episode of Throwback Thursday, we're going to be taking a look at the 30th anniversary Unpass Day. <laughs> there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and to another episode of the Throwback Thursday series. This is a series where I take a look at older figures from my collection and this week we're going to be taking a look at Umpas Stay. So he is one of the drummers from Jabba's Palace and now we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. So let's have a look. So nice big bubble on these 30th anniversary cards. You get a collector's coin. There he is in the bubble. You can see a sort of artist impression drawing of him there with the Jabba's Palace in the background there. Back of the card, we have some other figures in the wave. He is number 27. And basically he is a character from Jabba's Palace, which obviously if you've got the Jabba's Palace playset, which I do, then you're going to want some of these other characters, which is why in these Throwback Thursday videos, I've been opening some of the characters that may be part of Jabba's Palace. So last week I did Hermie Oddly, for example. So you never know, in future episodes, we may be doing some older figures from Jabba's Palace that I have in my collection that I now want to open because I want that Jabba's Palace on display. So this guy is going to be the first one of those figures. It's Umpaste. He looks really, really nice in his bubble. But as I mentioned before, he does need to be opened. And we're going to open him right now. All right. So here is the figure himself. And what's apparent straight away is the lack of knee articulation, which is a massive shame. Um, he's sort of permanently in that sort of crouching, kneeling position kind of thing. A uh, bit of a shame that, but apart from that, it's a really, really nice detailed figure. So apparently he's a Clatoonian. That's what it says on the box anyway, he's a Clatoonian. Um, he looks like he's the same sort of species as Barada and Kithaba, perhaps. Maybe they're the same species. Someone let me know in the comments if that's correct. I'm not a massive expert on species and, and things like that. So... Let me know in the comments if that is correct. Is he the same species as Kithaba and Barada? So, as you can see, nice looking figure. The headdress does actually remove. So you can see there. And I would imagine that if you wanted to, you could probably take this overgarment shoulder pad business off as well to reveal some more of his detailing. You can see there he has got so much detailing going on. So he's got his leather sort of over jacket there of all the ties that go down the side. So really, really nice paint and details. That really does look sort of like a leather effect. He's got his belt going on around there with nice paint apps. He's got all his gauntlets and stuff on his wrists. And the face paintwork is great as well as you can see so really nice detail on his face he's got that sort of cat look or dog look if you like sort of that scrunched up nose and if we just put his headdress back on there there you go now he does come with an accessory he comes with the drum which is awesome so this will look really really nice in the Jabba's Palace playset but you only get half of it. So it'd obviously be very nice to get the other half. So the other half comes in a figure called Ak Rev, uh, spelled A-K-R-E-V. Uh, I believe he is part of the Legacy Collection and was released a couple, maybe the next year. So I think this is obviously 30th anniversary. So this is 2007. I think the Ak Rev figure was released the next year. And you never know. He may be coming up in a future Throwback Thursday video. So there you go. That is the drum. And as you can see, it does have these holes and pegs. So that you can get the other half of it and, you know, join them together. And then you'll have that cool sort of drum that you can have side on, on your, in your collection. With Umpas on one side, banging it. And Akrev on the other, banging the other side. This guy's a little bit hard to stand up because he's he does have those bent bent knees, which is a bit of a shame. As I say, that is the sort of only letdown of this figure. He does have his drum stick, which does have some nice detailing on it. So it has 
this like rope effect there painted on which is nice and then obviously the bit there you go that's my drumming qualities for you to see as you can see I'm a schooled per percussionist uh, in terms of articulation the figure apart from the legs is actually quite good so the head is on a ball and you can see it comes off there so that does move around it's nice and stiff that one though so but plenty of movement on there he has ball hinge shoulders which obviously swivel round he only has swizzle swivel, swivel wrists his hand just dropped off and he does have waist articulation as well and his feet do swivel as well so so there you go then guys that is Umpaste. so now we're just going to take a quick look at the collector's coin that comes with the 30th anniversary figures so there it is there so as you can see Umpaste, clatoonian and then the back of the coin return of the jedi star wars 1977 to 2007 for the 30th anniversary that's a nice little extra that you got with these figures be nice if Hasbro did something similar these days. I mean, I wouldn't want them to come with the vintage collection unless, of course, they did the Power of the Force cards. But I think, you know, if they're going to bring out another line of figures, then something like this to go with the figures is always quite nice. And, of course, if you were to get figures with, you know, actual decent accessories, you know, um, like that drum, that is pretty good. It's going to look good in the display, as I mentioned before. So... All right then guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and we shall see you on the next one.